Yo, what's up, guys? The best last year back from our video. Trivia at 6,900. 11 tro trophies. Currently top 108th in the world right now. Currently 33 days, 8 hours left in the season. It's going to be the first video of the season, guys. I actually recorded one with Classic Vlog Vape, but that did not go well as planned because it just kept on running, running against a lot of balloon cycle, which wasn't so great. And just like tough matchups overall. However, I've been having a lot of success with Valk Guards, Electro Spirit, because I've been facing more Row Hogs, more Archer Queen, just more um, Bats and Skeleton Army and stuff like that in general. So that's just, um, in my opinion, like what I'm facing against, but I'm not sure if it goes for everyone. So if you have like under leveled cards or under leveled Valkyrie, I suggest you not to use it and just stick with classic bait. But anyway, it's on to our first match. I think this guy's playing Balloon Hogs, Ice Wizard, uh, Barbarians. Yep, there they are. Just going for a log here. the skills army as well let's go for like spirit high and plus guards let's go with the zap okay that was a bad zap i'm gonna pre i'm gonna pressure with the golem barrel he's gonna arrow so let's go for a princess yep and he should be low on elixir now he spent so much elixir there i'm gonna log this ice wizard like so she only get one hit on her tower you just knock it to the side and Looks like we're in a damage lead by like 390 HP. Looking solid. Uh, I know what Mateo is playing. He's playing an interesting balloon barbs deck. Hopefully we can um, defend and not get overwhelmed. Let's see, he's a little. This one is like on Inferno Tower. Yes, I have um, Rocket for the balloon, and I also have guards. So guards for defense here and go for rocket onto the balloon. Should be an easy counter unless he decides to arrow or something. And if I were using classic bait guys, I think I had I would have no chance because Valkyrie is 10 times better against hogs, of course. And guards are do such a good job of um, countering barbarians. Let's see, let's go for a Gone Barrel here. Maybe force out arrows or something. It's gonna zap instead. Okay, that was a really nice zap. Let's go for Inferno Tower like this. Looks like it's going on for a balloon, so let's go for a rocket here. Let's go for a Luxury Spirit just in case. Okay, that was unnecessary, but that's fine. Let's see. It's going for Inferno Dragon. And now I'm just going for a Gone Barrel here. Be forcing out a Skarmy or something. That'd be nice. There it is. It's gonna be a free log. Score Princess help take out that Inferno Dragon. It's gonna hogs again. Let's go for Inferno Tar on defense here. It's gonna arrow, so I'm gonna go guards last second. So for Electric Spirit as well. For the Ice Spirit, Ice Wizard, I mean. And I'm gonna rocket that balloon. He's gonna get death damage, but that's fine. He's going to the Ice Wizard in the back, just resetting. I'm probably gonna do the same with the Princess opposite lane, so I don't give him too much arrow value. Let's go for high front tower in case he wants to go hogs or something. And he's arrow, so let's go for a Gone Burl now. And go for guards here. He has a zap that, not looking too good for him. Let's go with the balloon. Let's see. Let's go for an front tower like this. Wow, the Ice Wizard got so much damage. Okay, we're down by 1 HP. That's kind of funny, guys. That's all right. Uh, let's go for Gone Brawl once more. And it's going to scar me, so let's go for Log. It's going with his Hogs. Let's go for a tower here to defend. Hopefully. It's going to balloon as well. Okay, we're going to rocket this, and we're going to go for Electro Spirit last second. Okay, things are not looking too great right now, but let's see. Let's go for a princess high in case he wants to do something. 
There's the Ice Wizard. He set up a defense. He's finally gonna go with his Barbarians. So we're going Burl. I'm gonna log the Barbs instead. Let's go for Inferno Tar here to defend. He decides to go with the Balloon. Hopefully he gets kited over. Okay, had a rocket it, unfortunately. And let's see. Let's go for guards on defense here. He's gonna use arrow, so let's try to do for bricks and log. He hit a scar me, that's huge. Uh, I'm not sure what's happening right now. It's for Princess. Definitely go for an Inferno Tar. He's gonna arrow that. Wow, okay, the balloon broke through. That was unfortunate. I think I should have played my front tar a little lower. It's kind of my mistake there. And it's GG's to this guy, GG's to Mateo. Um, well played to him. And we almost had that win, but unfortunately, the balloon got caught with like one skeleton, I think, and the Ice Wizard also connected. So that was my mistake. Great. All right, anyways, we're in our next match here. And guys see why that I prefer using the Valk version over Classic because I survived way longer in that match than I should have. Opponent's also going to have arrows. Hopefully it's not arrow zap golem mega minion bomber. Is that like a pretty hard counter? But looks like our opponent's going to be playing giant. And it's a matter of time whenever we know that he has zap or something. So regards in the back. So she go for a high Valkyrie. And let's see. Let's go for Snowball. Snowball. Um, an Arch Queen. Super in front are like this. I think he has to use the ability. So we're Gone Barrel. And then go for Bridge and Log. Nice. We the Skeleton Army. So we're like Spirit like this. Our screen gets one hit, that's fine, but we now we know what he's playing. He's playing giant graveyard. Double small spell, like I said before, double small spell is really tough. You just have to bait out their spells with your princess and goblin barrel so you can use guards on defense. If you primarily want to cycle the Valk first to help um, DPS down the giant, or else uh, you can't do much. Let's go for high in front of charge. Um, catch him off guard here. Looks like we do because he doesn't have zap or anything. And we definitely need uh, arrows out of his hand. Okay, he uses arrows. It's good. Arch Queen plus Snowball. Okay, that was unfortunate. The Electro Spirit actually helped the Tower retarget target onto the Goblin in the back, but that's fine. I think both of his spells are out of hand, so that's good. So he can't really go in right now. If he decides to, I'm just going to block the bridge with the Valkyrie something just a giant yeah I try to cycle two guards right now Let's see here just arrows Let's try to predict our inferno tower but we're not gonna play it now we're gonna play it and let's, let's go for a gone apply pressure let's go for guards here let's go for valkyrie high and let's see. Electric Spirit's gonna clean up a little bit. And so far, not too far down on Elixir or damage. Let's go Princess Opposite Lane here. So for Gone Brawl, Pie Pressure. Always good too. And he's playing a Skeleton Army there. It's gonna be an easy log. Skill Guards in the back. Let's go for a high front tower. Okay. Plus Electric Spirit. Uh, wow, uh, not expecting that. Let's go for rocket and log here. Things aren't looking too good, and I think it's gonna be GG right now because that was a really bad inferno tower. Should have known that he would have pred predicted it. That was my mistake. Is going for the obvious. And we hop to our next match. Let's open this chest first, and we hop into our next match. Hoping he can bounce back. That was a really sad loss. I think he could have won that, but you guys see why double small spell and scar me, like three counters for a Gone Brawl is really tough. And I've been seeing that match quite often, not like any other deck.
All right, let's go for Princess in the back. And I think our opponent knows who I am because he just went for Magic Archer in the middle, trying to protect my princess. Okay, uh, we almost fully countered out that Magic Archer, but it got one hit. Let's go for Log on the tower here, see what's up. Suckle guards because he's not doing anything right now. Bow Rams, go for High Valkyrie. Chop, clean it up. And let's see. He might go for Dark Prince or something. She goes for Pika, so I'm going to pressure opposite length up Gomb Barrel. It's a Royal Ghost. I want to play my Inferno Tower like this, so the Royal Ghost actually gets kited to it. Let's go for an Electric Spirit. And let's see what he's going to do. So I have to zap, so let's go with guards like this. And actually log that much Archer. So I'm going for a Valkyrie in the middle here. And this guy spent so much Elixir. So we're going for Gombrel behind the tower. Switching things up. Nice. Battle Electro Spirit, Electro Wizard timing on his end. And we're going to get so much damage. Nice. Would have been better if the Valkyrie got an extra hit, but that's alright. Electro Spirit like this. Guards. I think we had to log this for sure. Just playing it safe right now. So how's it defend our guards? And we're fine. Let's go for a princess on his match archer. Not gonna over defend. I'm gonna let her die because that's fine. I think match archer's gonna get two hits on our tower. He's gonna go over to uh, Pekka, so let's see. Can never mind, let's go for Valkyrie like this. Just help defend. Pekka's in the back. I'm gonna actually rocket it. Because I should have guards, so it's much easier for me to defend. Let's go for the Electro Wizard. Play my Inferno Tower on purpose, one tile low, so he can't go for a Magic Archer on it. Get rid of the Magic Archer, it's not gonna work. And let's see here, guys. Let's go for Guards plus Valkyrie here to defend this. Hopefully, it actually works out. And it looks like it did. Let's go for Gombrel, create a counter push with that one guard. Let's go for Royal Ghost. Tower down to rocket range. I don't think anything's gonna take our tower in time. Five seconds left. To log everything back here. BGG. Very nice game. You know, Switch Fan. Guards. The guards version is way better because you can actually def fully defend a Royal Ghost and then defend a Bandit right after. And we talk to our next match. Might be the last match of today's video because I don't want to make it too long for you guys. And while you're at it, make sure you leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. And comment down below what other um, types of decks I should play because most of you, I feel like, um, are drifting away solely from log bait because I'm not sure PS maybe PS of the meta is so bad or I don't know, but just leave a comment down below what you think. And make sure you share this video as well. Anyways, for our next match here, Gone Barrel. If you screw Gombrel next in your hand, you just want to cycle back to it. Suck on a log here, your punting always good luck. Let's give good luck back to him. He's got Barbarrel, so just gonna go for guards here. You'll watch out for Tornado. Because people love to use Tornado and Barbarrel in the same deck. Just a Lumberjack. Just gonna go for a Valkyrie in case he wants a Tornado with that in. Okay, he's going with the bowler. Let's go for a high in front of tower here. And nice. And I think uh, he uses a bar barrel. So let's see what he's going to do here. Yep, he's going to turn it over that. Let's go for guards like this. Hopefully we did it in time. But he's trying to get one hit on our tower because I played my guards one tile too low, but that's fine. If you play your guards here, they will like Go single file and help defend against the baby dragon. Wow, opponent's just gonna go for a naked balloon. I'm just gonna go for a rocket. Easy counter. Um, I hope they have like a rocket buff or something because it seems like I've been missing some of my rockets lately by like 
a millimeter which is unfortunate i found out that the rocket has like the smallest radius it only has a radius of two tiles while snowball has a 2.5 okay opponent might go for bowler or let's see yep there's the bowler Let's go for high infernal tower, try to bait out a balloon or something, or electro dragon if he has it. Let's see. Okay, he got scared. He thought I was gonna play my princess, but I'm actually gonna cycle, take this time to cycle to my rocket. It's really just spirit in case it wants to freeze. Let's go for Valkyrie like this. Let's go for guards help defend here. And he's trying to cycle back to another balloon, so let's go for another Inferno Tower. Like so, here. He's going to freeze that. So, the for Electro Spirits will help defend. And wow, we actually have a lot of stuff down on the board. Never mind that. I'm just going to log his tower here. Split guards in case he wants to go for a Lumberjack or something. Let's go for Inferno Tower like this. Super Princess like this. Super Gombra Applied Pressure here. If he freezes, that's fine. Decides not to freeze. And let's see. Slog the Buller, also getting chip damage, which is important. There's guards in the back here. And let's see. Okay, that's a rocket value. I'm going to use my Inferno Tower for his uh, next balloon. There it is. Inferno Tower like so. Didn't put it behind the chain, so we're fine. Yep, he's just gonna go for a freeze. But we should fully defend this. Right, let's go for a Valkyrie like this. Let's actually log that Lumberjack back, also getting chip damage at the same time. Actually, he played an interesting bowler right there. Okay, he just barely doesn't splash into our tower, which is kind of insane. And I'm gonna rocket the balloon, hopefully I don't miss. Might protect our princess, so we're not gonna play her. Yep, he tried to predict, predict it there, but didn't worry out for him. So our princess ops lane towards our healthier tower. Let's see. Let's split guards one more time. Let's go for high infernal tower this time, help defend against that baby dragon, as well as the lumberjack. Interesting balloon placement from the opponent. So we're in our princess here. Cycling back to another Inferno Tower because I think that's important to have right now. But I don't think that's necessary because... Yep, the balloon's going to die. I'm going to rocket this because that looks really dangerous. Okay, we hit everything. That's important. Should go for a split guards on that bowler. I'll go for Valkyrie here. See, go for log. I need to rocket this here now. Okay, wow. Um, that rocket was perfect. And I think this is the longest, craziest tiebreaker ever because we got no damage on either side. And I barely won that. So I just had to play defensive the entire time. Just trying to rocket. His troops and use my front tower for his balloons because he was target he was just trying to give me rocket value there anyways hope you guys enjoy this video top 100 definitely want to take it see you guys later bye guys